Welcome to this little demonstration video for SafeSureS 2.0. At least I want to show you the new UI changes that got introduced in version 1.1.9.28, which is basically the early access version. So first of all, let's take a look at the lock screen. Just simply double tap to open up or wake the device. As you can see here, the lock screen shows you the time and date. And you have a new status bar with the um, power state, the current. If you have uh, any LMs set, it will show you an LM clock in here. Uh, it will show you your provider, your carrier, and if you have 3G, 4G or whatever, and Wi-Fi connection and how well it is connected. Of course, you can unlock either from the left or the right. Therefore, you have this little indicator that you can swipe in here. Uh, if you have some notifications, the icons will appear here on the left and if you swipe from the left to the right, you will directly go into the notification area to see those notifications. Just simply normal swipe will bring you to the multitasking view, the new home screen, the main view. As you can see here, I have several applications open and just like in the previous versions of SafeSure S, you can just simply tap to open up an application. And then I can also swipe and peek and take a look at my time in here or my connection or my power state and go back right into my application. Uh, what you will notice is that the application now has a slightly a rectangle on the top and bottom. This is the, the new indicator for pulley menus. So you have now, the, uh, of course, just like in the previous versions, um, a new nice animation for the pulley menus, as you can see in here. And let me go to settings, for example, and this is a new animation if you choose one entry in the pulling menu, uh, which is also pretty nice and cool. Um, now let's go back to the multitasking view. The multitasking view has some new features. If you long press on the multitasking view, you can, of course, close applications but you can also rearrange now applications. As you saw earlier, my Gpod application did not go around to the first place in here, but stayed where it was before. This is a new feature that allows you to rearrange those uh, cover, uh, covers of active applications simply uh, by long pressing and then you can just simply swipe around and, and rearrange those uh, application covers just like you want it and they will stay there. The cool thing is you don't have a limit anymore for application covers. You have basically unlimited access um, and you can just simply add as many as you wish. The only downside is of course not all applications will run at the same time. Some of them will close, the own killer will close them if the memory is filled up. But the cool feature is that it will stay an application cover. So you can just simply, and it will stay on the same location, of course. You can simply uh, press this application cover and then this application will be reloaded and you will be taken directly into this application. So if you're just missing the telephone application, for example, I would suggest just opening, opening it up as a cover uh, and then position it on the top left if you want it there and uh, just let it stay there even if it's closed down just it, the the cover will stay there and you just can uh, click on it to relaunch the application itself so this is a new multitasking view in safe 2.0 and what i also showed you right now is a new app drawer just simply swipe from the bottom you can see this little indicator on the bottom bar and uh, you can swipe to open up the application drawer where you can find all your applications. You can rearrange them, put them in uh, different folders just like you were used to in the old version. And you can launch applications. The cool thing is, of course, you can also launch existing applications uh, that are already open, just like for example, Tweetian. And we'll just simply switch to this open application. So if I'm in Gporter and I swipe from the bottom you can see I can bring it up from everywhere basically also from the lock screen if I don't have a lock key set uh, or I don't lock the screen with a pin or something like that 
then I can just simply uh, open up the drawer also from there and I can just simply uh, open up Tweety and also in here and you can see it switches so it's also basically it functions as a multitasking switching application as well which is pretty nice so now back to the um, covers what changed is that the home screen, you can see you don't have to swipe up and down anymore, only swipe up if you want to bring up the um, application launcher, but uh, you don't have an option to go to the lock screen anymore. Um, and if you swipe from the bottom, you will go to your application. Some might ask now, where are my notifications? So you can now swipe either from the left to the right or from the right to the left to go to your notification area. Here you can see your notification, missed notifications, uh, and uh, also the weather widget is now in here. I click on the weather widget. And when I click on the weather widget, you can see I have a forecast for the next five days of my weather in here. As you can see, uh, it's getting pretty rainy around Saturday and Sunday. Um, so maybe I have to care an umbrella or something like this. Um, care for an umbrella, buy one. <laughs> Uh, of course you have your notifications here in, in this case I don't have any notification but if I refresh my mail client I hope to show you two new things first of all a notification area a notification uh, bubble that will appear here and then the notification area itself with hopefully some emails so it will take a while because I have several email accounts set up in here and I uh, did not have uh, IMAP idle on. As you can see here, this is a new notification bubble. I can press on it to directly go into the uh, application. Uh, and in this case, the email application, as you, can, as you saw the little email uh, icon. Uh, and this uh, notification basically also opens up if I have an application open, it will just uh, hover over the application. And so I can just click to directly go into the application. But I wanted to show you how this looks like in the uh, notification area. As you can see here, I've got an um, uh, email by no reply jolla.com. This is, I think, togetherjolla.com, some notification here. And you can see the subject down below. You can see when it was sent uh, around 12 minutes ago. And now I have two options. As you can see here, uh, you have, uh, first of all, all emails are separated by the email account they were sent to. So if I have several emails from several, I get several emails from several different accounts, they will be listed under my account, each account. And the cool thing is if I have several emails now that arrive on the same account, they will be listed under this account. So I don't get, get this notification, you have two new emails or something like this, but I have then two emails really and, and can quickly peek at them, look at, the, um, the um, sender and the subject and see if, this, if it is uh, important. So uh, if it's not so important, I don't have to open up the email application itself. The cool thing is that you can have now different types of things. Uh, let's just send another email to myself in this case to show you uh, this cool feature. Uh, you can either open up the email account itself by pressing the email account in here. This will bring you directly to this email account in the mail app. Or if you press on the email itself, it will bring you to, the, uh, to this uh, little mail um, that you got. Let me go back and refresh quickly again. And the cool thing is that it will, it will just simply save the state of the email that you've read or unread. So now I will... I think in a few seconds get a second email and what you will see is that when I press on this email this email gets read so it will go away from this um, notification area here and the other email will stay in here until I read it in the email client so let me demonstrate this for you let's go in here so this is my test mail uh, of course I can show you also now let's go back to notifications first. You can see this is now gone from the notifications. And if I go back to the email, let's show a new uh, delete option in here. You can see it's now just simply like a button. <laughs> uh, the cool thing is now you can see here's my unread email. 
it's, and you see that it's still in here. Also cool if, if I, I don't think you saw this, let me make it a little bit slower. You can see if I go now in, in the speaking mode, I can see that I have a new notification here and by the icon I can see, okay, this is an email notification. Also very cool. So this notification is still in the notification area. Just like I read this email, just read this email here. Uh, I don't think you can see this. Uh, I don't know what's written there, so I don't want to show you. But the cool thing is, if I go back now in the notification area, you can see it is now red. And because it's now marked as red, it automatically disappears from my notification area, which is pretty, pretty nice and a good integration into uh, this whole email and uh, IM stuff and so on. So this is basically the notification thing. So now another thing, ambiences. Ambiences and yeah, some other quick um, lock mechanism is now hidden under the top swipe menu. So you can top swipe and you get a new menu where you can lock the screen by pressing the lock icon or you can change the, to various different ambiences. There are several ambiences pre-installed now in this uh, version here like mute, work, party, freedom and sailing. Uh, then I have Snow White because of my uh, the other half keyboard. Uh, I have uh, uh, a keyboard or clavier, uh, piano uh, like um, ambience that I've uh, now chosen in here, as you can see. And I have the, the other half keyboard two ambience installed. Uh, you can switch just simply by pressing one of the ambiences, just for example, freedom in here, and we change the freedom. You can see the style changes. The UI changes and yeah, this allows me to quickly switch between different profiles. And of course I have, um, let me go back to my piano um, profile in here, my ambience. You can have uh, different ambiences in the settings menu. So you can just have this open in here. Let me go back, back, back. Um, the settings menu, I think nothing really new. The only new thing I think is uh, that it now shows the um, percentage for the um, uh, for the ringtone in here. So you don't have uh, you don't you not only have only the slider in here, but also the percentage in here uh, as well as a text. So let's go to system, and here you have a new entry called ambience. If you click on this, you can see the various different ambiences that are installed. The one with the star in here are the ones that are in the um, uh, swipe menu, in the, the up swipe menu, up down swipe menu. And you can see there are several others uh, that uh, I think were chosen from a contest that uh, Jolla held for Safe 2.0. You can see there's some others as well, which look pretty, pretty damn cool and you can set them as favorites, but you can also, of course, uh, configure them. Just let's go in here. You can configure the color, for example, for the ambient, the primary color that, that is used for, for, for example, the uh, pull, pulley menus and so on. And you can change the name and you can change the various different ringtones in here. And of course, also the um, volume of the ringtones, which is pretty nice, and pretty cool. So this is in here and if we are now in settings, I can show you some other settings, just like for example, gestures that allow you to just simply quickly close an application by swiping from up to the, uh, to, to the bottom. You can see uh, these uh, application, this guy, in this case, the uh, cover of the settings application gets an X and if I let go, it will close this application. And I have also the quick access for uh, the notifications. So I can, if I enable this, I can swipe uh, from, the, from the left to the right to go directly to my notifications uh, instead of uh, minimizing just like, for example, when I swipe from the uh, uh, right to the left. So this is that. I have also the new lock screen notification, uh, the new lock screen um, application quick launch items in the pulley menu that I can set it up in here. Let's go to the lock screen. I can show you the pulley menu is still there with camera, phone and settings that I have set in here. Let's go to settings and we bring you directly back to the settings in here. 
we can set up those things. And then I have, of course, my sounds and feedback. We can change the different sounds in here for my IM, uh, for my uh, normal ringtone, uh, chat, email, calendar, clock, and so on. And I uh, can enable, disable, touchscreen, um, ringtones, uh, and vibration if I want to. And I have my notification options where I can set up my notifications. So I can, for example, turn off the weather. So if I go to my notifications, I don't have any weather in here, just only the um, date. And an interesting, interesting thing is that I, if I have some calendar entries, it will also uh, show in the notification area if I want to. Uh, otherwise, I can just simply turn it off in here. These are basically the application uh, application changes, the UI changes in SafeRest 2.0. There's, of course, also this uh, state for the instant messaging accounts that you have. Uh, I hope and I think I read it somewhere that this will be implemented in the notification uh, area again so that you don't have to go into settings and set your uh, status in uh, the, the settings, which is a little bit cumbersome. So I hope that this will be added in the next release uh, somewhere in the notification area that you can simply quickly change uh, the different states. And the rest basically the same and, and so as from, from the UI perspective. Uh, of course, the Android support uh, is more advanced. You have the option to start and stop the Android support in here. And uh, yeah, basically this is uh, SafeSure S 1.1.9.28. 1. 1. I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration of this version. If you found something very important that I missed, just simply um, answer to my video in here with a video answer, for, for example. This would be pretty nice, pretty cool. Or just simply uh, write a comment uh, under this video. Hope you enjoyed this little uh, demonstration and thanks for watching.